Well guys, the rumour mill just does not stop turning. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chell, Donkster Born, but built for theme park Bachelor Entertainment and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to discuss an early 2021 rumour for Carowinds. Now Carowinds along with a few other Cedar Fair theme parks have been announced not to open for 2020. They're going to focus on 2021 instead which I think financially is a smart decision um, to save money. You can go two ways. You can either you know, take in more money or you can save the money you've got and put it towards 2021 and combine the old 2020 revenues at the start of the year with the 2021 ones. However, Carowinds has not stopped there because via a screenscape article like the Six Vlog video yesterday, we've got an early rumour about 2021. Now, before we get started, uh, I want to link the article in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But this is just a rumour, so take it into account. This is just a rumour, just like the Six Five video. The penny hasn't dropped just yet. However, this is going to be an interesting one. So let's have a look then at what's been happening. So first of all, before we get started, massive shout out to Single Rail Industries. Brilliant name, my friend. If you want a shout out in our next video, then comment down below and I will get towards your shout out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling YouTube content. And for now, guys, let's get into this video and talk about Carowinds. So the Screamscape article states as follows, while the 2020 season was a bust, an early rumour has surfaced for what Carowinds may be planning for 2021. While next year we'll finally see the water slide from 2020 open in the water park, that is of course uh, the longest mat slide racer in the country I believe, known as Boogie Board Racer. An early rumour suggests that Carowinds may have been planning on adding a new car ride to the park in 2021, possibly on part of the former Dinosaurs Alive site. It isn't entirely surprising as the park's old car ride was removed to make way for Dinosaurs Alive years ago. They just hope they don't try and take up all the Dinosaurs Alive site for a car ride. That site is easily big enough for a great medium to large size coaster or could be used to construct another entire themed land full of smaller flat rides, much like the county fair area. Just something to think about. Now, Carowinds' former Dinosaurs Alive attraction was replacing Joe Cool's driving school. Now that opened on the 29th of March 2013, Dinosaurs Alive, and it closed on August 18th, 2019. Of course, that site's been out ever since. However, that isn't the only car ride, technically, because they've had a really old one called the Old Jellipies, aka the Hillbilly Jellipies, which opened in 1973, and it closed in 1987 when it was removed for Whitewater Falls, which uses the same Q station as the Old Jellipies. Now, of course, while Waterfalls went along with a couple of other attractions for Copperhead Strike. So technically two car rides have been at Carowinds, so it should be interesting to see whether a, a third car ride is going to come to the park. So already on your screen is a Google Earth representation of the Dinosaurs Alive sites. Now Dinosaurs Alive of course is gone, so we know it's gone. And looking at Google Earth, it is a big site, so I can get why the article is saying that you could do like a little mini area with kids rides and things like that, or you could do a new major coaster in that site. Now that one I kind of 50-50 agree and disagree with, because if you look at it, the car ride, the antique car ride at Kings Island, you look at how they did it, that's quite a, a, not a bad site for a car ride in terms of the size of the site. So, I really think that Carowinds needs a decent amount of that land for the car ride. So, I think the best case scenario would be to add in a couple of other family rides and make it more of a brand new kids area or family area. And what they could do is, because the station for Dinosaurs Alive is opposite Snoopy's Red Baron, they could repath it and make it part of the Snoopy area and they could do a nice Snoopy expansion, so have the car ride, have like a couple of other family attractions and make that part of this Camp Snoopy expansion or Planet Snoopy expansion, or 
what you could do if you were to go with the coaster is go down a King's Dominion route. Now, King's Dominion, as we know, next year are adding a free spin coaster, replacing their Hus Top Spin, the Crypt. So they're adding that, and then hopefully in around two, three years' time, they'll be getting ready to replace Volcano the Blast Coaster with a brand new major roller coaster. So for Carowinds, if they could go down that route, I could see a free spin going into a section of the site, and then obviously the rest of it would be used by the brand new car ride for next year if it's true if the room is true and what they could do then is save up for a couple of years if they're not going to replace rip war and rapids with a brand new water ride use that site for another new coaster so i think that would be the route to go down use rip roar inside or a different coaster site in a couple of years time for a brand new coaster but the dinosaurs alive site could be or a section of it could be a filler coaster year and add something like a free spin something that's different something that's unique and something that will be good for the for the carolina state and you know i think that will be the best route to go down in terms of roller coasters make it a filler year because to be honest apart from a launch coaster which you can't really add because you got copperhead strike in 2019 so it's not really making much sense Apart from a launch coaster that's compact, I can't really see much else you could do with a strip of that site. Even if you use most of it for the car ride. Uh, even if you used a little of the site for the car ride, like if you use like a thin strip for the car ride, I couldn't really see um, you know, much of that being used for any other type of coaster. So I think you just do something filler like a free spin or something. But I think the best route for this site would be some kind of Camp Snoopy Planet Snoopy expansion and include a couple of children's rides and family rides along with a themed car ride uh, like a Snoopy Tours kind of attraction, themed attraction so that's what I'm thinking with this. So there we go guys, that is a look at this rumour now of course this rumour is just a rumour so we have to take it with a pinch of salt, it might not be true it may be true, it may not be true, who, we know? who knows, who knows and you know we have to sort of think of it from a broader perspective However, if it is true, then I think the car ride in that site may well be themed to, to Snoopy in terms of where it's located. Because, you know, you've got to think the entrance to Dinosaurs Alive, or like the station area for Dinosaurs Alive walkthrough, is opposite the Snoopy's Red Baron attraction. So you've got to think, if you include that site, along with the, the Woodstock Express and the, the little kids coaster as well as part of the Snoopy area, I think that... If you remove, once you've removed Dinosaurs Alive, if you use that site for a car ride, you're looking pretty much here at some kind of Snoopy expansion. And, you know, I think if they were to include a couple of other Zamperla uh, family rides, I think that would make the uh, expansion complete. And then you use a different site for their next major roller coaster. But we can't be thinking of coasters at Carowinds now because, one, we've got a pandemic on, and two, Copper Strike was last year, so it's going to be another three or three odd years before the next coaster. I'm thinking 2023, 2024. You know, originally I was thinking 2023 because of a teaser that I saw for Copper Strike, and I think they were like, or around Copper Strike, and I think they were like counting down years, and they mentioned 2023, and people were saying, oh, is this the next coaster year? And I think the pandemic may have pushed this back a year or two, so I'm expecting around 2024, 2025 to be the next coaster year for Carowinds, uh, if we're if we're going on pattern that is. And, you know, I, like I said, again, I think this site's going to be a car ride with maybe a couple of other family attractions to incorporate the kids' coaster and the back half of Woodstock Express into a full Snoopy area. So, I think this car ride could be the start of a potential Snoopy expansion next year. So, very much a kids' ride year for Carowinds, which, to be honest, in the current climate... I wouldn't be against because if you think about it then they'll have a brand new water slide that they haven't opened yet to open in 2021 for the water park and then they'll also have a dry park investment for the kids which is something that I've liked to see I want to see some kind of family investment because in terms of family thrill rides or family rides we haven't seen really hardly any since the county fair area with the with the few new rides back in around 2016 so you know, a few years since then, and it's been a lot of years since some kind of Snoopy expansion, so I think it kind of puts two and two together, really, uh, with a Snoopy-themed car ride or an antique car ride. Uh, but it was good to tap into the history of Karen's and look at the two other ones, the driving school uh, from 2012-2013, and obviously the, the old Jalopies, I think so it's pronounced, the Hillbilly Jalopies, as it is, from the 70s and 80s, uh, which was a gas-powered car ride. So... Again, we're looking into a lot of history here, and I think if they were going to announce this, I think they'll give it some kind of Snoopy touch, 
but I think overall the announcement video would start with some kind of historic look back in the days of car rides. So looking at the Jalopies, looking at the driving school, and then Snoopy comes in, like projection of Snoopy on the announcement video or something, and you know, gets a car ride, adds a magic wand to it or something, and bam, there's your Snoopy car ride, along with a, maybe a couple of other family rides in it as well. So uh, I think that's what we're looking at for this site here. Not a coaster, but some kind of Snoopy expansion. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video from Garrowind. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chell. Keep living the coaster life. The rumor mill just keeps turning, doesn't it? And for now, guys, keep living the coaster life. See you guys in the next video very, very soon. But for now, guys, have an awesome day.